Let's set up the Neptune Systems Apex 2016 for the first time. Hello everyone, Reefer Gill here. I'm super excited to do this video as I'll be powering up my new Apex 2016 for the very first time. As some of you were probably able to tell in the previous videos, I'm not at my primary home in California. I'm actually at my second home a thousand miles away from my aquarium while my wife watches over the system and my buddy stops by on a regular basis to do maintenance on the tank. Wait a minute. No, it's fine. My wife really loves me. <clears throat> I've gone ahead and temporarily set up the Apex 2016 on this board. Provided mounting screws make mounting the Apex super easy. First thing I'm going to do is link all my devices together. It doesn't matter what order you do this. I'm going to start with the display which is not included with the 2016 uh, Apex. I'll connect the Aquabus cable to the head unit. It doesn't matter which Aquabus plug I use. Now take one end of the Aquabus cable that has been provided to you and connect it to the second port on the Apex head unit. Take the other end of the same cable and connect it to any of the available ports on the EV8. A word of caution, these are not USB cables. I strongly recommend you label these to avoid accidentally plugging in a USB cable which can actually damage your unit. All right, the moment of truth. Let's plug it in for the very first time. Okay, the lights are flashing different colors. The unit's making some clicking sounds. And 38 seconds later, the light on the EB-8 is solid orange and the light on the Apex head is solid blue. Additionally, the display is on and providing feedback. Totally awesome. So far so good. Let's jump into a Windows based laptop and see what we find. Okay, from here you want to go to your Wi-Fi. Make sure your laptop or whatever device you're using is on the same home Wi-Fi network as your Apex. Look for something called Apex Setup followed by your unit's serial number. Double click on it. Mine took 38 seconds to connect, the same amount of time it took the Apex lights to stop flashing. Now open up a browser window and type in apex.local. I first tried to use Chrome, but the login failed. I then opened up Explorer, typed in apex.local, and I noticed that it auto-populated the http colon forward slash forward slash prior to the apex.local. So I'm guessing that's why Chrome didn't work initially, because I didn't type that in. It did take a few seconds for the connection to work. Once the list of available Wi-Fi signals popped up, choose yours and double click on it. Type in your router's password, the same password you'd give to your friends if they came over and wanted to jump onto your Wi-Fi. After about 15 seconds, my Apex 2016 was connected to my home's Wi-Fi network. The lights on the Apex head unit turned from blue to orange, and the light on the EB-8 remained orange. This was my visual cue that everything was working and was online. You will then be prompted to log on for the very first time. Initially, I tried to log on to my existing account, but the login failed. What you need to do, even if you already have an account, is to type in admin, all lowercase letters, as your username, and 1234 as the password. This is the default login. Hit enter and presto, my new Apex 2016 dashboard is now viewable on the Apex Fusion. Way cool. You can see that the outlets come pre-configured for lights, pumps, skimmer, and more. I'll be deleting all these profiles in the future and moving over the programs from my Apex Classic to the Apex 2016. I'll go ahead and open up one of the pre-configured outlets. Let's choose the return pump. Under control type, select advanced in the drop down menu. And here you can see the command lines which are really, really basic. If after following along with this video you're still having issues connecting your Apex, make sure to log on to Neptune Apex's website. Under the support tab, click community forum. Here you can search threads that can help you out. Or you can contact customer service at the number listed on their website. Hi Hannah, I was just calling and checking on the tank. Good. 
Has Matt been over? Okay. Well, I, I was thinking about coming home a little bit early. 